Hi everybody. Um, I am going to be doing my first tag. I've done tags before, you know, through the comments section, but I've uh, never done them, you know, on camera. Well, I won't be on camera, but my voice will be in. Hello, there's my hand, and you can watch this. And by the way, no copyright infringement intended. I uh, don't know if I needed to say that, but there I just did. But um, the first tag that I'm going to do is from Jasmine. And I just thought that she should be the first one that I do. Uh, I mean, she is the queen of tags, is she not? So yes, my first tag will be Jasmine's tag from Monday, May 20th, 2013. And the first question is, um, do you sleep with the light on or off? And that would depend. Um, if it's just myself and my husband, uh, you, know, with, you know, which is normally, uh, we sleep with the door open. If my grandchildren are here, I sleep with the door open. You know, because I'd like to be able to, you know, hear them, you know, if one of them is to yell out or something out in the other room. Um, if an another adult is here, you know, we recently, uh, our in-laws were here, you know, we kept our door closed. Um, so yeah, that's that. Okay, number two, do you like to play your music loud or at a reasonable level? Uh, that depends on my mood. Um, you know, yesterday, uh, I had a mood and, you know, I, I gotta get my Led Zeppelin on every day. I know I've mentioned that before, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, I'll turn it up loud. Then when I clean, um, you know, I almost always have it loud then. Um, you know, but normally it's at a reasonable level. If I'm in the car, you know, a good song comes on, of course I turn it up. But, you know, I am always polite to, um, you know, our neighbors and such, though. But, uh, let's see. Number three. If someone asked you a question, would you lie or tell the truth regardless um, of the outcome and how it affects you? I think is what was asked. Um, well, to be quite honest, it depends on the question. I mean, I'm not going to say that I'm, you know, completely truthful about everything. I mean, who is? But uh, if it's about something that, you know, I stand for, you know, and I am asked, I will, you know, I will not lie about it. But I am going to be honest, you know, there, you know, there are, like here on YouTube, uh, you know, there are some things that I would love to talk about and I just don't. Because, you know, it could end up, you know, affecting, you know, somebody within my, my family or something. But, um you know, to come right out and lie about it, no. You know, if anybody asks me, you know, if I believe in this or what I stand for for that, you know, I'll, I'll pretty much say. But, you know, there are things that uh, I may not talk about, uh, you know, to protect, you know, other people. Um, let's see. You know, and, and, and let me get more, you know, if somebody was to ask me if, like, okay, for instance, if they were wearing a dress and, you know, they asked me, you know, if it, you know, looked good on them, to be quite honest, if I really did not think that it looked good, I, I wouldn't tell them that it did, if it didn't. Um, you know, I would not come out and say, you know, it looks like shit or whatever, but, you know, just, you know, if it makes... You know, if there's, you know, a big something, you know, right, you know, in the center of the belly and, you know, it just kind of brings attention to the whole midsection, you know, you know, you might be able to say that in a polite way or something, I don't know, but I'm not going to, you know, let the person walk out and, you know, look like a, look like a fool, but, uh, okay, let's see, number four. To be honest, do you feel anyone really understands you? Okay. To be honest, I don't think that anybody could say that 
they believe that somebody 100% gets them. You know, 95, you know, maybe even up to 99, I would say. But 100%, you know, no. Um, my husband, uh, he comes, I mean, he's right, he's right there. But to say 100%, you know, no. And same with me with him. You know, uh, my kids, you know, my kids get me a lot. Um, but again, they don't understand a lot, you know. I, I don't think anybody could ever understand somebody else 100%. But damn near close. Um, my husband and I are going to be celebrating our 24th year together this coming uh, Wednesday. And we are together a, a lot. You know, we work very closely together and... And uh, even with that, just the other day, he said something to me, and I just looked at him, and it was like, huh? You know, I couldn't believe, well, what did you just say that for? And then he looked at me like, what? You know? You know what I'm saying, people? You know, hold, you know, you know, men are from Mars, women are from Venus kind of thing. You know, even after 24 years, you know, people who are, to, you, know, it, you know, together, uh, you know, 80 years, there's going to be that, that little thing of, huh? You know, what? So, no, not 100%. And I stuck on that question way too long. Moving on, Wendy. Oh, hey, that was kind of appropriate. Jasmine, moving on. <laughs> okay. Uh, number five, describe your ideal lifestyle. Okay, my ideal lifestyle would be... First of all, for everybody that I care for to be happy, healthy, and, you know, no worries. You know, so, yeah, good luck with that one, right? Who can live life like that? But, yeah, my ideal lifestyle would be nobody that I care about, including myself, you know, to have to worry about, you know, worry about things. Worry, worry, worry. So sick of worry. Uh, I would love to be able to walk out of my front door, even look out my window and see water, as in the ocean. <laughs> that would be my ideal thing. Uh, main thing, to be able to grow old with my husband. Um, you know, God willing, you know, we're going to be able to go into our, you know, 90s together, you know, maybe longer, you know, staying healthy. That would be my ideal lifestyle. Um, so yeah, that was my first, my first ever on-camera tag. So I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you enjoyed the little visual here. I think I might use that here with the next few tags that I'm going to be doing. It's very pretty. But anyways. I hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. And bye.